picture with me of a, you know, just be, play face basically. Yeah. I, I want to have an impact. I want to make sure there is change, rather than just you know smiling for the cameras. So what is it in your makeup or your background that makes you want to do that? Because not not many people you know do specifically young, younger footballers as you yeah. know they want to spend their spare time watching box sets or going out, you know, where it's like, oh, I'm sure you might do that as well. Yeah, but, I was um, say, so many box sets you can watch, surely. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but what, you know, what's, what's your kind of inspiration and motivation beyond doing it? Um, I think my inspiration for doing it is because I feel so lucky and privileged to be in my position that I'm in. Um, I want other people to have opportunities and the chance at, you know, achieving their goals and their dreams. Um, which is obviously what the foundation's all about. It's us helping them uh, help themselves. Really, it's not sort of a handout. It's going to be. Um, it's going to be. You know, we'll we'll support the charities and I'll do the majority of the work. But we'll make sure that day to day, you know, we're we're on the phone and we're making sure that the money's going where it needs to be to make the biggest impact. And how how have you kind of narrowed it down to these three in particular? How have they all kind of touched you? They're all all different ways, really. Um, so. The White Sea Open Door is is obviously local. It's it's homelessness, which is I've, I've already mentioned. It's obviously um, a pressing issue for myself. I find it difficult to, to see a homeless person in in the you know we're in 2017. And there's still people who haven't got accommodation. So um, I'd love to change that, especially locally. Focus locally, locally, and make sure that's uh, narrowed down. And then you've got uh, you know you've got the Football for Peace, which is, is it caught my eye actually on the the Kilimanjaro uh, game. I don't know if you heard about it. They you know they got eleven different nationalities of women together to have a football game up Kilimanjaro. Um, but off the back of all the PR and the press and the you know the, the exotic games and stuff they do, there is really good inner city programming place, which is obviously about you know breaking down these barriers that you see in the cities these days. You know, there's, there's a lot of hatred, there's a lot of racism, there's a lot of people, vulnerable people that get exposed to to all the, the stuff that goes on. So for education, we're trying to you know, capture these young people at the right age and, and push them in the right direction when perhaps they haven't got the, guard, the, the guardians to do it. And the, the Indian charity as well. And the Indian charity, was so obviously off the back of my summer vacation out to India, um, you know, we went out and, and we saw these these girls firsthand at the school, at the Euro school. So, um, you know, seeing them there was was another pushing point as well, really, to make sure that I did, did what I could to help them, and that I know that that's still going on now. I might be in Wolverhampton, but that that way of life and you know the hardships that they endure are, is still going on. So I need to make sure that I can have an effect there.